Peace, quick story. The other day I was in Smart and Finals. But for y'all who don't know, Smart and Finals is like a grocery store um, where you can get shit in bulk for a lesser price without a membership, Smart and Finals. So I'm up in there, Smart and Finals. I typically go there to get the Mission Organic Blue Corn Tortilla Chips because I be fiending for those joints. So I'm up in there. Of course, there's people in there. It's around 6.30, 7 o'clock. And unfortunately, I got my earphones on, so I'm not on point. I'm not on my square. So don't think that you velvet or you cool or you on point with no earphones on. Garbage. However, I didn't have them real loud. So I the earphones on. And I hear a woman holler. So I'm like, I, t I take the earphone off and I'm listening like, did I just hear a woman holler? And then I start looking to my right and I can see people like staring toward the entrance. But where I'm standing at, I can't see the entrance. I can see the people looking at the entrance and we it's like a mother, her daughter there. And then maybe about 10 feet away from them, it's a couple that's all looking toward the entrance. And so I'm listening. Now, keep in mind, all this is happening in straight seconds. It's maybe six, seven seconds went by now. But I'm listening, though, and I'm looking. And then the mother grabs her daughter and like, huh? And like kind of motion my way in a light jog. So I'm like, whoa. Now, keep in mind, we're talking straight milliseconds. So in a fast trot. I'm headed toward the door. Now, I told this story before, and people were like, you trying to get up out of there? No, I was not trying to get up out of there. I need to know what the deal is. I needed to have a visual on what was happening, right? That's why I moved with speed to the front. I needed a visual. So I get to the front, right? I'm moving quick. Now, it's all type of people standing around now because the front is where the checkout lines are. So, bam, I'm looking around, and a couple of the workers, some little young boys, whatever, they are looking outside the door where the commotion has ran out the door or it's happening right in front of the door on the outside, though. So I walk all the way outside. I look around, and I see somebody running off. Now, keep in mind, 7.30, but 6.37 at night, they running off. So I'm like, okay. I walk back in and I'm looking around and one of the cashiers, a lady, she like, I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to do something. He pulls his shirt up in a bag, right? So he had a bag in his waistband and he starts stealing the alcohol right by the door. So basically, he on like a beer run, but he grabbing big ass alcohol bottles. So she was the person that yelled. She was hollering. Ah! She fucking hollered. I don't know. She hollered. So now I got my chips. I'm in the line. I'm like, hurry up and ring me up so I can get up out of here before the police come and ask y'all a bunch of questions and then y'all can't check people out the line. So they're like, yeah, for sure. Of course. So it's two young dudes standing there and the lady standing there acts as one of the young dudes. Now, keep in mind, those three work there. The lady and the two dudes standing at the line. They all three work there. The lady asks one of the dudes, he had glasses on, like, did he hit you? And I look at him, my man face is red. He like, yeah. What happened was when the dude was still in the liquor, when he pulled the bag out, he fired on this young fool standing there. So... <laughs> That's why she was screaming because she fired on my mans that was standing there in awe like, <gasps> he took one for his troubles, probably wasn't going to do nothing to begin with. So that's the story, right? But I asked myself, what the hell was you running to the front for? To get your dumb ass shot or something? Nah, I was going to the front because with the lady hollering, my mind thought that it was like some domestic violence, like some dude 
was beating this girl up. That's what I thought. Now, what was I going to do in particular running to the front? I would have figured that out when I got there. I'm definitely no hero. And you running toward the front. You running toward the smoke. Get your dumb ass shot. Um, fully aware of all of that. Um, I'm not going to stand idle and just let some nigga beat his bitch up. Neither though. Not doing that. And when I heard the screaming and when I got to the front and they had went outside the door, which I didn't see, I thought that maybe some domestic violence shit happened in the lines and they had took it outside to the front because that's what it appeared. Now, keep in mind, all of this happened in about 15, 20 seconds, like bam, 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 bam. So once I found out that my man was on a beer run, I'm not doing anything for that, whatever. I'm not stopping no robberies. I'm, I'm not that. I'm not walking that walk. Whatever the smoke is, do your thing. I'm out of there like that. They don't got nothing to do with me. I'm not passing judgment. However, some nigga beating the bitch up though. I don't know about that. Not saying that I'm just gonna jump in front of some dude and act like Captain Save him. I'm not gonna do that. But I definitely, most likely, will try to get an understanding and try to convince this dude, like, it ain't worth it. You know, like, no use in doing that. She a female, you know, and so on and so forth. Something to that effect. The other thing is that I acted on morals and integrity. No second thought, anything. I went to the front to see the smoke. And the other thing is, like, if somebody running up in some shit, shooting some shit, I need a visual. I know, I know, you're a damn fool. You get your dumb ass shot, you get your dumb ass killed. I get it, I get it. I probably would be saying the same shit if I was on the other side of the spectrum. If I hear gunshots, then fuck, I don't need to see it because I know it's popping. But if people standing around and I can't get a visual then I don't know how I'm going to move, how I'm going to act. No, fuck that. I need to see for myself. And it ain't about running all up. Like, I need to be able to see, right? I know the difference between throwing myself out of pocket and putting myself in fucking great bodily harm and being able to make an assessment about how I need to move to get out that fucking front door if need be, or if I need to bolt out the back of that joint where they come and um, restock the shit at with the uh, 53 footers and whatnot. I know all of that, but I know one thing for sure. Ain't no bitch in my bones. And unconsciously, I was prepared to act on whatever was popping up in that bitch. Unconsciously, right? So take it for what it's worth. That's a fact. That's exactly what happened. I'm no superhero. I ain't no extras. I'm a regular dude. Just got heart, man. And I got heart to the effect that I ain't letting no bitch get beat up in front of me. And I'm just not going to turn my other cheek and act like it's like whatever. I'm not doing that. So take it for what it's worth, man. Just sharing the story with you. It's actual fact. Peace.